My name was Pauline Elmore and I was born here in Wistow in 1938. I was married in 1957 to Sydney Gore and became Pauline Gore. I've lived here all my life apart from three years, living in the total of six houses. I have a lot of my friends here and most importantly, all of my family nearby. Welcome to my home, my pride and joy. Come on in and shut the door. I would like you to see my birthday cards. Big day today, look. This is the restroom for the old people. One of my main hobbies is working on my garden. I like to keep it looking nice with plenty of flowers. I also like to keep the grass in check. I can do all of this with the help of my wonderful grandson Oliver who cuts the grass and helps with the other bits too. I also enjoy preparing and cooking my own meals most days. I like to think of myself as a bit of a chef. My roast dinners are to die for. I love to go for a walk round the village for some fresh air and exercise. This is an impact. It's just something I find enjoyable and a change of scenery from the garden. Drunk. Now, the most important part of my life, above all else, is family. It always has been and always will be. I have my lovely sister June. Shall I put my glasses on? Well, why have to focus on you? Aye. Oh. No, not them. <laughs> He's got a cat, he's got it on there, June. What? What we're saying. Well, it's the truth, isn't it? It's the truth, isn't it, Ollie? Here's the truth, isn't it, Ollie? Twins, yes. tinnling ling. I have my brother, Les, who I'm also very close to. <laughs> <laughs> dear, oh dear. My dear granddaughter, Rose, who also keeps me looking young and beautiful. My only daughter, Lindsay, who also sorts my hair out. You're a bit grey under here, Pauline. I know, I'm very grey under there. It makes you look old. <laughs> I am old. And of course, Maureen. This is, this is my best friend. She's just bought me, my, bought me a card. Happy birthday, Pauline. Thank you, darling. <laughs> How about that? The list could go on forever, but I love all of my family dearly. This is 
Sid, and we were married 58 years before he passed away uh, two years ago. I miss him an awful lot because he was all he was always here, and we worked together. We were, we worked we had three businesses which we did together. So we only had Lindsay, and so now it's, it's a bit. I'm on my own, and I do miss him. Yes. Oh, I see. So this week was Nanny Pauline's 80th birthday. So me and Mum have decided to tell her that we're taking her for a birthday meal. Instead, we're throwing a surprise birthday party with all of her family here. No, he's not said anything. <laughs> Where do you think we're going? I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. Where do you fancy? Anywhere as long as there's something to eat because I'm hungry. Steak? Oh. Yes. Come on then. As long as I have my family, that's all I could ever ask for. 